look good, play good. And the outfits we're talking about today, well, they don't exactly look good. They're keeping the burgundy and gold color scheme, but you've got introducing a new black alternate uniform. We have some hideous, out-of-date uniforms that the teams who wear them should be downright embarrassed about. These are the 10 ugliest jerseys in the NFL right now. Tampa Bay Buccaneers Pewter Jerseys After winning the 2020 Tom Brady Free Agency sweepstakes, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers went back to the slick uniforms from the Super Bowl era. It was a nice nod to the Derrick Brooks Warren Sapp days that saw the Bucks grow into one of the NFL's elite franchises, one that took home Super Bowl 37. But man, the pewter color alternate jerseys are just so darn ugly. You'd think that a legend like Tom Brady could just make about any uniform look cool, but even the GOAT can't pull off that kind of feat with these jerseys. Orange, red, and brown were the franchise's main colors over their first 44 years of existence, so why in the world did they decide to introduce all pewter uniforms that don't at all reflect the franchise's original colors? There's just something really unpleasant about these jerseys that turn us away. It's mostly annoying too because Tampa Bay's main home and away jerseys are among the NFL's best. Why do you have to bother with an ugly pewter alternate? If you want something cheesy, at least throw it back to the orange creamsicle days. If the Buccaneers just wore these outfits once in a while, then whatever. We could deal with it. But they wore them several times a year, and it is just too much. This is the NFL, not a Fifty Shades of Grey audition. New York Jets home jerseys. The Jets began a new era of football in 2019 by announcing Adam Gase as their new head coach and releasing brand new futuristic looking jerseys. This included the main Gotham green home colored uniforms with shiny green colored helmets. The Jets have been so awful for so long, so at the time, the need for a fresh new look made a lot of sense. But man, the colors and designs for their home uniforms certainly have have not aged well, and we are already longing for them to go back to the old unis that they donned from 1998 to 2018. Those ones had a fun vintage look, and it meshed well with the Jets' identity as a run-heavy team with a stingy defense in the Curtis Martin and, subsequently, the Daryl Revis days. But these green Gotham jerseys, ah, they're just too flashy, and it looks like a ripoff of the uniforms that the CFL's Saskatchewan Rough Riders wear. I mean, just take a look for yourself. Honestly, we wouldn't have too much of a problem with a Gotham green if they were the Jets' color rush jerseys. Those unis are supposed to be a little over the top after all. But as a main home jersey, these colors just don't work at all. Cleveland Browns Alternate Jerseys To be perfectly blunt, the Browns have had some of the worst jerseys for quite some time. Mind you, what can you really do when your team is named the Browns? Doesn't really leave you with too many options. But the all-brown look is just way too bland and is lacking in any creativity. With nice enough home jerseys as is, why even have these alternate jerseys in the wardrobe? The design is lame and the bright orange color schemes don't go well with the all-brown jersey and pants look. If they could at least include some orange or maybe some white colors on the pants, the look wouldn't be that bad. But these are just way too much brown for us. The only saving grace here is that it's not the team's main home jersey. Indianapolis Colts away jerseys. Sorry if it feels like we're beating a dead horse, but yeah, we just have never really cared for the Colts' blue or white uniforms. They're just so bland, and they haven't really changed much dating back to the franchise's early days in Baltimore. The main blue color is absolutely fine, but the lack of cool designs and patterns for the all-white unis really don't do it for us. And we don't understand why both the home and away pants have to be the same all-white look. The Colts uniform, quite frankly, look a little too 1950s for us. Even older franchises like the New York Jets recently changed up their jersey designs. So why are the Colts trying so hard to live in the past? You know, that was one nice thing about seeing Peyton Manning finish his career with the Denver Broncos. He actually got to wear nice looking jerseys on a consistent basis. We'll say this at least, the Colts' predominantly blue color rush jerseys are very fancy. Those would be a lot better as the team's main uniforms. Or couldn't they at least adopt the white jersey blue pants look from their away kit? 
Denver Broncos color rush jerseys. The Broncos have fielded some of the best uniforms in all sports throughout their history. The logo and main orange crush and navy colors work wonders together. But there is such a thing as too much orange. We're talking about the Broncos color rush uniforms that sport an all orange look with bits of white and blue. It just looks like the work of someone who took up art class for school credits, but has no actual artistic skills or vision whatsoever. So, if we were grading it, this would be an F. The Broncos already have two awesome home uniform designs. I'm not sure if they use the same person to come up with our color rush schemes as well, because if so, I guess we can give them a pass. After all, you can't always hit a home run. Atlanta Falcons away jerseys. The Falcons debuted a new set of uniforms in 2020, and you may recall that we weren't exactly high on them at first. Let's dive into our rankings for these seven NFL uniform changes for the 2020 season. Number seven, Atlanta Falcons. Uh, in a word, yikes. However, I'll say that they've quickly grown on us. Now that we've seen the team in action with the new jerseys, the Falcons all black home outfits and two alternate jerseys have crafty designs and colors, but those all white jerseys are awfully tough to look at. They're just so bland, ordinary, and lacking in any creativity. It almost feels as if the designers were on a 10 minute deadline to put something together. Truthfully, it just boggles our mind that you can put together one sweet home outfit, two slick alternate unis, but then have it all rounded out by some boring all white outfit. The black helmet look is very nice, but can't you at least adopt full time black or red colored pants to go along with that white jersey? Los Angeles Rams Bone White Jerseys when the Los Angeles Rams introduced new uniforms and logos in 2020, we weren't exactly bullish on them at the time. The new logo especially was hard to tolerate, but you know something? It's grown on us over time. The Rams main all blue uniforms are right up there with the NFL's best. Their alternate outfits, which feature the white jersey, yellow pants, and blue socks, are a great combination. They do an excellent job incorporating the team's main colors. But woof, the Rams' bone white jerseys are way too old school for our liking. They're a huge contrast to the futuristic look of their other uniforms, which really is not a good thing in this case. The white jerseys and pants aren't a great mix, unless the Rams plan to travel back in time and play football in the 60s. The shiny blue and bright yellow color schemes don't go very well with the vintage all-white looking uniforms. Why can't the Rams' aforementioned alternate outfits just be adopted as their main away jerseys instead? Even the Rams' old white away jerseys were much better. They at least had some crafty designs and looked a little more up to date with today's style. But these current bone white ones, ah, they cannot be retired soon enough. Washington Commanders Alternate Jerseys What in the world are these? After finally adopting a new team name, the Commanders in 2022, the Washington NFL Club introduced new uniforms. And you know what? We approve of the main burgundy colors for their home jerseys. It'd be nice if the white away unis had some more burgundy or golden there, but it's mainly the black alternate jerseys that we're giving two thumbs down to. For what? Doesn't this just look like a complete ripoff of the Pittsburgh Steelers alternate jerseys? And secondly, it's just weird to introduce a jersey with a predominant color that is so different from the one your franchise has worn in the past. It'd be like if the Broncos adopted an all green alternate jersey, or if the Philadelphia Eagles switched to an all blue or all red. Burgundy and gold remain the commander's primary colors. So why is your alternate jersey something so entirely different? Detroit Lions Alternate Jerseys Has it already been half a decade since the Lions introduced new jerseys? Wow, how time flies. We're certainly all for the more modernized looking home and away jerseys. Not to mention the Lions have been associated with losing for so long that a jersey change did feel necessary. But, uh, well, we really can't stand to look at those all gray alternate jerseys much longer. They are just so repulsive. Are the Lions trying to look like a bunch of tin men from the wonderful Wizard of Oz? Maybe if the Lions had the light blue colored pants to go with the gray jerseys, we wouldn't hate the alternates as much. But too much of one color is rarely a good thing when it comes to American football outfits. And the Lions gray alternates are a big reminder of that. Those old black jerseys with the gray pants back in the day, those were pretty awesome. What about bringing a similar look back as an alternate to replace the all gray? New England Patriots home jerseys. 
Maybe it's just weird watching the Patriots play without Tom Brady now, but we've really been turned off by the new jerseys that were introduced in 2020. The Patriots were the NFL's golden franchise during Brady's 20 seasons with the team, so those old jerseys became sort of iconic and historically significant. The old home uniforms with the navy jerseys and the gray pants were right up there with the NFL's best. The uniform perfectly included the red, white, and blue colors that are a nice play on the whole Patriots theme. But in 2020, the Patriots ditched the gray gray pants look and made their alternate slash color rush uniforms the main home jerseys. There were some small adjustments from the color rush outfits, but they were almost the exact same. The home unis featured navy jerseys and pants with a red and white patch on the shoulders. The bottom line is, is that these new jerseys really just don't stack up with the home jerseys the Patriots wore for so many years. And when you think about the history with the old jerseys, was it really necessary to undergo such a drastic change? We were thrilled when the Patriots announced that they were bringing back the red throwback uniforms. But here's a small request that we know will go unfulfilled. Make those the permanent home jerseys, Mr. Kraft. Unless, of course, you're planning to bring back the Brady home era jerseys, then do those. But which do you think is the ugliest jersey in the NFL right now? Join us in the comments section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, click in the like button helps set it done. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.